What? Mel got this pose from the Hildebrand quest where you do like this mighty uh, what? flex, but then you smile and it sparkles. Funny. And she has a sheep outfit. <laughs> I love it so much. Where do I get it? Or no, I wanted that pig one. So, I am on Mask of Grief. So I have to go deliver this to Ida. I recently got Ixion. It just reminds me of Final Fantasy X and it makes me so happy. Babe, did you see my mouth? Ooh. Hey. That's really cool. Way bigger than you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I finally don't have to use a chocobo. Use so much way to go, I think. Yeah. Moonbreeder. I'm so sad that she 
died. <laughs> it was too soon. I'll never forget you, Moon. None of us will. The song riseth to a crescendo. Uh oh. What I think it is. Hello, can you hear me? We have received grave tidings from Ishgard. Pray return to the Rising Stones at once. That can't be good. Can't return. It's right. I love how mounts can just go, like, into houses. It's great. Apologies for the interruption. I was deeply saddened to learn of Moonbreed's passing. Her loss will be shortly felt. Our last recent developments in Ishgard leave us little time to mourn. The envoy from Korthas will soon arrive, and we must hasten to hear her report. Yes, but what of the dragons? The envoy is here. I thank you for receiving me at such a short notice. Time is of the essence, so I would forego the usual pleasantries, if I may. Certainly, you come with news of the Javanians? Aye, the dragons have begun their attack in earnest. The first wave reached the central highlands a short while ago. The battle was joined soon thereafter. Sir Imerick himself sailed forth with a contingent of temple knights and sir several companies of the noble house's finest. But the beasts were ultimately forced into retreat our victory. If such it may be called, came at a cost of many of our own, too many. We will not withstand a second wave should the Dravanians renew their assault. You paint a grim picture, my lady. 
Is it reinforcements you seek then? We do, though it picks, pricks our pride. It is plain we cannot protect Ishgard with our ranks thus thinned by the horde. Sir I'm I I Aymeric? I think that's his name. When meet with you to discuss the possibility of enlisting your aid. Very well, I shall depart for Corthus at once. I must warn you, however, that the involvement of the Crystal Braves is by no means assured. Our commitment to quelling the unrest in Ulda must take precedence. It is with such contingencies in mind that I must take another request. Make another request. The Scions of the Seventh Dawn are known for sharing close ties with all three of the Grand Companies of Eorzea. Would you consent to plead our case to their leaders? Well now, finally they want an alliance! <laughs> oh, so I will gladly appeal to the Grand Companies on your behalf. I dare not promise a favorable reply. You need say no more. Considering our past dealings with the Eorzean Alliance, I can well imagine how our plea will be received. But the fate of Ishgard hangs in the balance. We must explore every avenue still open to us, no matter how up unpromising. I see very well. I shall send envoys to each of the allied nations and have them present your requests directly to the heads of the Grand Companies. In the event that your plea does, does receive a favorable answer, know that any support is certain to be conditional. Demands will be made of Ishgard. That is only to be expected. Rest assured that I speak with Sir Amrick's authority in this matter, and that our actions are fully sanctioned by the Holy See. Which brings me to my final request. Man, she's demanding. <laughs> A personal appeal to you, Warrior of Light. The Lord Commander mu uh, much desires to speak with you, regardless of your fellow's involvement. You face mid- Garsawar and survived. Uh, anything you can share of your experience may yield us an advantage over our foe. I have him as a pet. <laughs> Thank you. You wear the mantle of hero well. It would seem the road leads us both to Camp Dragonhead. Seek me out when you arrive, Sela. Dragons are on the move. Ooh, cutscene. What's her name? Iceheart? Kinda thought she died after summoning Shiva. The sons must answer for their father's misdeeds. Only then will the cycle be broken. And sisters of the heavens, we raise our voices and join you in the chorus. The sinner's feeble magics are undone. Come, claim your retribution. <laughs> Not good. Kinda want all the dragons as my pets. <laughs> okay, so go to Dragon Head. Uh, 
I am so close to Heaven Sword. I was the swifter, Sella. You two, however, have arrived with time to spare, for our host has yet to make an appearance. The murmurings about camp tell of some manner of trouble at the gates of judgment. In the Lord Commander's absence, I suggest we visit the place and find out what is afoot. Okay. Question the knights. Yay. Running quests. I hate these. Chuck! Good afternoon! How dare they meddle with our divine protections? I shall rid our nation of... I shall rid our nation of this blasphemy, even if it means cutting them down one by one. Okay. We, we need not fret over much. There are yet several layers of arcane protection that shield the city from invasion. Mother will be fine. Oh. I'm sure she will be okay. Gates of Judgment are much more than mere doors. They are the outermost layer of Ishgard's magical wards. If our first line of defense can be so easily shattered. I know, you guys are in trouble. When I laid eyes upon Lady Iceheart, I felt the marrow freeze within my bones. Yeah, she is kind of scary. Oh, he's right here. It would seem the heretics stuck the first and most telling blow against Ishgard. Scions, we expected you at Camp Dragonhead. Yeah, we went ahead. My apologies. We chanced to hear that uh, there had been trouble at the gates and thought it prudent to investigate the cause. And you have learned of the heretics' treachery. Lady Iceheart led a force of her followers against our defenders and came close enough to dispel the first of our wards. But let us speak more of this back at the camp. So Aimeric awaits you. <laughs> Lady Iceheart has grown bold indeed if she would risk direct action against the city. Come, let us do as we were bid and return to Camp Dragonhead. Lord... Hark front these names. Uh we'll know where Sir Amric means to receive us. And back we go. I know it's getting good, but I just want to be there already. reassuring indeed to behold the countenance of a friend when one's homeland teeters upon the very brink of disaster. Though a single misstep could send us plunging into the abyss, your heretic presence strokes, stokes the flames of courage within my heart. I think he has a crush on us. 
Uh, but do you not come to Dragonhead to listen to my prattling? The Lord Commander has arrived and would treat you with, and would treat with you in the intercessory. Greetings, madam. Shall I show you inside? Yes, please. Let me in. Thank you for coming with such haste and apology. Apologize for my absence. Suffice to say, Lady Iceheart and her heretics have such have much to answer for yes we are but recently returned from the gates of judgment ourselves given the circumstances we quite understand if you would prefer to postpone our appointed audience on the contrary master alfano i think it's more important that than ever that this meeting take place Rest assured, I shall return to my post on Ishgard's walls the moment our business is concluded. Before we move on to the subject of reinforcements, however, I would introduce you to a close friend and steward alley. Ice Eistenin? Easton. That's an awesome mount. I know! Ixion! I got it recently. I love it too. Ooh, he looks cool. May I present to you Ishgard's Azure Dragoon. Dragoon! An impressive title, though I confess. I know pres precious little of the Order of Dragoons. They are formidable warriors all. That even among such masters of the lance, Isin is without equal. He, out of all the warriors of Ishgard, was chosen to wield the power of dragons, and may thus contend with any Dravani. You flatter me overmuch, Lord Commander. I want that armor. So you are the adventurer of whom they spoke. I see now why my blood fair snag in anticipation of our meeting. Saying. I bet he dreads fighting in a forest. He must get caught on every tree he walks by. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, now that we have all been introduced, let us proceed to the matter at hand. I would share with you what we have learned of Iceheart's design as confessed by the her heretics given taken captive after the assault on the gates. It would seem the Lady Iceheart and the Dravanian share a common goal, the reclamation of Nidhogg's stolen eye. Nidhogg, one of the seven great worms. His name features prominently in our nation's history, though once defeated by the hero Haldreth, the beast is said to have terrorized Corthius since Ishgard's founding. I, many of the scars our walls bear from Nidhogg's relentless efforts to raise the city. The trophy Halgoth plucked from the bested worm's skull, known simply as the Eye, it is a treasured relic of Ishgard and one possessed of untold power. Should, ever, should it ever be returned to Nidhogg, the dead creature would be restored to the height of his strength, and then no wall or ward we could erect would be stout, stout enough to deny him. Oh, I was like, who's talking? It's my little dragon friend. The vengeful son hath waged war against Ishgard for a thousand years. No mortal mind could comprehend the depths of his ransomer. The eye itself is secreted deep within the vault. It is kept under heavy guard Surrounded at all times by men and women who have proven their loyalty to the Holy See. 
But thou with stout walls and sharp blades may suffice to discourage the heretics. The dragons are another matter. There are individuals within the Dravanian horde whom an entire company of knights would labor to repel. To say nothing of Nidhogg himself. Nor does age rob them of their strength. Through the endless march of years, the dragons endure. Patient, calculating, inex inexorable. I can read. <laughs> you must understand, these creatures do not share our uh, perception of time. And that is a, especially true of the Great Worms. Do they spend centuries in slumber, only to wake and resume their campaign, as it were mere hours had passed? Oh my gosh, this is such a long cutscene. I'm not going to read out loud, hold on, because I read faster, not out loud. I don't know why they didn't voice act this scene. He is one with Nidhogg. They only ask for help when they need it. Back to Rising Stone. So, two sentence synopsis. Okay, so pretty much um, the Lord Commander refused to become an alliance with Eorzea when we had a problem with the Empire, and now that they're having a problem with Iceheart and these dragons, they're asking us for help. Um, so, 
We're like, why would we help you when you didn't help us? And he said, once the dragons defeat us, the Empire could take over and uh, take the land. Yada yada yada. So it's pretty much help us so that the Empire doesn't take control as well. So he was kind of like manipulating us into helping him. So we're helping him with the dragons. I think that's more than two sentences, but that's okay. <laughs> and now we're going back to our leader of the Scions to report our findings. Alfino, it is good to see you. Tell me, what have you learned? Pray summon the others. Everyone must hear my report. Ah, uh, so we got to be selfish, and since we were, the situation is worse, so now we can't be selfish because it'll screw you too. Yes, pretty much. You got it. <laughs> So this was all but a taste of what's to come. Indeed. The main host advances upon Ishgard as we speak. Whose vaunted defenses have been nullified? Shorn of its wards, the city will bear the full force of Nidhogg's fury. And Nidhogg is the dragon that we heard roar uh, earlier. Alfino is right. The Dravanians cannot be allowed to prevail. If Ishgard falls, all of Eorzea will suffer the consequences. Then you agree that we have no choice but to intervene. For the good of the realm, the Scions of the Seventh Dawn and the Crystal Braves must join the defense of Ishgard. Let there be no ambiguity about what has been proposed. We would be directly intervening in the war. But if all here believe the cause to be just, then to war we shall go. The path we now embark upon is perilous, but I pray you will walk with us to the end. For those we have lost, for those we can yet save, Then it is settled. I shall inform the Council of our intentions and request that they contribute their own forces to the defense of Ishgard. Is it Nidhogg originally a Viking creature? I don't know. Possibly? I've never heard of it before. <laughs> What's he saying? It's a Zell look alike. I've bid the Arkans travel to various nations. Should the members of the Alliance agree to pledge Grand Company soldiers to Ishgard's cause, our comrades will be on the hand to act as intermedi intermediaries for the duration of the conflict. The small matter of persuading the Alliance leaders to grant such support, I leave to Elfino. 
For you, my friend, a difficult task awaits. I would have you reach out to your fellow adventurers and gather what allies you may for the coming siege. I would also have you consider the matter of our own security. Revenant's toll is but a short fight from the uh, snowfields of Corthus. It is not unimag unimaginable that the fighting may spill across the border. Pray brief Slaphorn? Slaphorn? On the. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. On the brewing conflict and discuss potential contingencies. The frontier settlers must be preparing for aught that might wing its way over our walls. It's hard to talk the way they speak. <laughs> I only hope that such precaution prove unnecessary. Ah, before you leave, might I suggest that you have Tataru accompany you? She has a talent of administration and a firm grasp of the practical challenges we may encounter. Tataru! I love Tataru. She was juggling wine and knives last time I was in here. And it was funny. Uh, he is apparently a dragon that lives beneath the world tree eating its roots. Oh, interesting. Hmm, we are rather close to Corthius, aren't we? We'd best see to our own defenses and take stock of our supplies. Oh, and we'll also need to have beds and bandages laid out just in case. A good receptionist is ready for any eventuality. Let's go, Sela. I have a hundred and one things to discuss with Slathborn. Following. <sighs> Let's see, I am on Volunteer Dragon Slayers and I have... I have like 11 quests to go until the heavens sword. I'm so close! I appreciate the warning. If war is coming to Corthius, that the toll must be made ready. I'll increase the number of patrols and outlooks immediately. I'll also see that finding... I'll also see about finding room for an infirmary, as well as a temporary housing for victims of the conflict. Ishgard has done well by us in the past, and I would return the favor. But as for rounding up volunteers for the fighting itself, I'm afraid I must disappoint you. I will not send my fellow guild members to die in an Ishgardian soil. On Ishgardian soil. And I am certain headquarters will say the same. There will be no official Adventurer's Guild presence at this siege. That said, each adventurer is of course free to do as he or she will. I shall have a word with some of my more capable colleagues on your behalf, and you might try your luck here in Revenant's Toll. I dare say there are a few stout souls about town who will answer your call to arms. Yeah, cause we're famous! Let's get started, shall we? I have a town to rose. We must find volunteers. Spare me your talk of glory and fame. I am not in the habit of volunteering for lost causes. I've survived this long by trusting my instincts, and my instincts tell me to stay well away from Ishgard. Okay. Yo! <laughs> hi Zella, I wish I could play with you guys. Oh, hi Noah! Are you... Um, doing like yard work and stuff? Ishgard sounds like she's in a right mess, but that ain't what I want to talk to you about. I need you to cast your mind back to that scuffle with the Empire out by the... Procession plant. A lad from Little Ala Mihigo by the name of O'Wilrid was there with the fourth that day. And I want you 
to know if you've seen him since, have you? God damn it. I fear as such. No one's bloody seen him, and it's like the ground's opened up and swallowed him whole. That ain't all. Around that time, Wilred stopped turning up for duty. Some black market weapons went missing from our vault in Ulda. So now, of course, half the Braves suspect the lad of making off with the goods. Folk like to behave our company's a dis disciplined fighting force. But as you and me both know, it's no more a motley collection of mercenaries, adventurers, and a grand company veterans. The only thing as binds us together as is much vague oath about fighting for the freedom of all. That and the steady pay. Now compared to most others in this crew, Wilred's a fresh-faced novice, a bleeding whelp amongst wolves. But the boy's got passion. When he talked about being a, a guardian of Eorzea, he bloody well meant it. A lad with him wouldn't rob us blind and bugger off like that. He ain't that type. And then, ah, oh, this just between you and me, mind. There's the fact that the lad wanted to tell me about something queer he'd noticed in the ledgers. Something about the Braves' numbers not adding up. Uh-oh! Aye, there's a villain at the end of this trail I've stumbled upon, and I'll bet me good eye it ain't young Wilred. Any road, you've got a war to wage, so I'll let you get on. I just thought someone should know. I'll be seeing you, Sela. Thanks for letting me know. Alright. Back to recruiting. Wish card seeks sell sell swords to bolster its ranks. Eh? Though I'm not sure. I like the sound of this siege. Those nobles will surely be generous with their rewards. Ah, but I've pledged myself to guard Revenant's toll. Modest work though it is, I am loath to break the terms of my contract. What to do? What to do? What to do indeed? Uh, uh, let's see. Oops. Come up this way. Where are they? Not in here. Where else could they be? <laughs> oh, in here? Maybe? Ah! Found it. Volunteer my service in the defense of Ishgard? I think not. Dragons claim to the lives of every one of my brothers. I do not mean to offer them mine. Twas to escape such a fate that I took up the man mantle of adventurer in the first place. I would sooner die in the pursuit of fortune than huddle behind an icy wall. Oh, okay. One more! Not this way.
It's already here. But I don't think I went. Uh, mm. Hi! Welcome! Hi, 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 hi! I'm trying to find this last recruit. Well, potential recruit. It's not going so well. Maybe he's out here. I like how they're doing the same exact motion. That's pretty funny. Uh, I feel like I've been everywhere. Where's this last person? Hey! Tara is my sister. No one's here. <laughs> Tara said this way, so that's why I'm following her. I checked here. There's one in that room. There's no one in the in here. <laughs> Oh, where'd you go? Wait. Where'd you go? Oh, okay. I didn't go up here. It wasn't in the orange circle, so I didn't think anybody would be up here. Storage? Boxes? Top of the rooftop. Sell me blade to the guardians? Well, them dragons are a fearsome lot, but I'd slay me fair share if the coin was good. I've worked for one of them nights before, you know, watched me like a bloody hawk, he did. Still, I'd put up with worse than that for a heavy purse. Hi, Ryan! Welcome! I, I, I. Yay, we found the last person. Okay, now we just need to talk to... Tataru! Can I jump onto these, like, banner things? <gasps> nope. <laughs> oh well, I didn't die. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, this way. Tataru! There you are, Sela. So, did you sway any hearts? Not really. I think they all said no. One or two. Eh, well, 
added to mine, that makes three or four. Not including Stafford's friends. We won't have the largest company in the army, but I'd say one Traverden's Toll veteran is worth a dozen clanking knights at la least. That's true, we're pretty cool. Oh, I've been so caught up with the recruiting that I almost forgot. There's been word from Alphano. Apparently the Alliance leaders are con convening in Ulda to discuss Iskard's flight. flight. And they've requested your presence, as usual. Anyway, you'd best make your way to Ulda, or you'll be late. Alphano said that he would meet you on the Royal Promenade. Alright. Off to Ulda we go. Oh, Tara, did you want to come? Oh, you're not? Okay. I'll invite you to party. Welcome to my party! Okay. Alright, now we can... What am I doing? Not chatting. Teleporting. How is everyone in chat? It's actually like so much cooler today. Even though the sun's out, the wind has been crazy. Where am I going? Prominent. Chamber. Yeah, I wore a jacket. Yeah, uh, we just like came back from a walk a little while ago and it was nice. Even though it was windy. Alphano! What do they say? My apologies for calling you away from your tasks. I have hoped to proceed with these negotiations one leader at a time, but it seems my urgent requests for an audience have prompted a gathering of the council. Needless to say, I felt obligated to attend. The alliance leaders are already seated within. Let us join them, shall we? Okay. We shall. We are well aware of Ishgard's dilemma, and we agree with your assessment. Then I trust there are no objections to the Crystal Brave's intervention. Da has not. Gridonia does not object. The Crystal Braves are yours to command, Alfino. Do what you will. We shall pray for your success. It was my hope that you would offer more substantial aid than prayer. I know it is within your means. Do not presume that you have knowledge of our every concern. The Garlians and the Beast Tribes are but two of many. We are not in a position to contribute greatly to the defense of Ishgard. Not when our own homes are still under siege. We dare not leave our interests in Cartano undefended as well. Telegiad Alegi and his ilk would seize control of the territories in our absence. The enemy is at their gates and you would cower behind yours? No one is cowering, boy. We will offer what support we can. Aye, support. A handful of men and no more. Would that we could commit more than a token force to this cause. Yet there are others to whom you might turn. The free companies ever want for work. 
Ah, yes. The free companies. They're not like to turn you down. I beg your pardon? You would entrust the survival of Ishgard to sell swords? Crises like these are the very reason why this alliance was formed. It is our duty to aid our fellow man. My duty is to my country and my people. If you expect us to place the welfare of a foreign power above our own, you're going to be sorely disappointed. Lest you doubt, Limsa comes first, then the Alliance, and finally, circumstances permitting, Ishgard and the rest. If you cannot understand so simple a concept, then you have no place at this table. He Before tried. Me, Admiral, I was careless in my choice of words. I suggest you assemble a party of elite adventurers, assuming you haven't already. Your fellows served us well during Operation Arkar. I dare say they will do so again. Yep, just leave it to me. <laughs> If I may, Your Grace, I wish to propose a redistribution of forces. If we entrust the security of Uldar to the Brass Blades for a time, we can dispatch a larger force to Ishgard. Your Grace? Yes. Yes, of course. Do what you will. Hmm. Is her grace not feeling well? To the best of my knowledge, her grace is in perfect health. I see. Carry on. He's so concerned. That went as about as I expected. Once again, I owe you an apology. It seems you have been conscripted into leading a contingent of adventurers on yet another mission of inestimable danger. But I fear we have been left with little alternative. We cannot well abandon Lord Arkfront and Sir Emmerich to their fate. We must abide by the Council's decision, as short-sighted as it is, and strive to fulfill our roles as Eorzean guardians. Captain Ilbert, what news? Then the assault has begun. We have but this moment concluded our audience with the Alliance leaders. Move our forces into position. Your unit will join House Duradar at the Still Vigil. Man the cannons alongside the knights and thin the Dravanian horde ere they descend upon Ishgard. I will join you as soon as I am able. <gasps> They're attacking! Tell I would have you and your adventurer allies bolster the defenses at the steps of faith. Report first to Sir Marceline at the Gates of Judgment, and he will direct you to where you are needed most. May the gods grant us victory. All right. So I need to go to... Uh... I guess this is this is the closest crystal. <laughs> Into bad toe. Thank you. 
Oh, Tara, I forgot that you were still in my... <laughs> You're still here, sorry. <laughs> I'm like, what's this blue dot following me? Can you fight with me? Do I need to get a party? We are the appointed captain of the Soul Swords contingent. Oh, are you? You are. Blech. Then welcome. There is no shortage of blade work to be done. As we speak, Dravanian skirmishing parties are carrying positions across the Central Highlands. I've assigned the Crystal Braves and your fellow adventurers to contain these scattered attacks. For the present, I would have you join them. This is, of course, merely a precursor to the assault on Ishgard proper. The Willy Serpents seek to divide and confuse our voice forces, but we will not be so easily drawn out of position. The Temple Knights will remain on the Steps of Faith and continue our preparations. Then the Horde arrives in force. They shall face a wall of Ishgardian steel. Report back to me once their advanced skirmishers are slain. Alright, finally some fighting! Cool mounts. Whoops, sorry, I like ran over you. <laughs> I really have to pee, so I think I'm gonna go pee once we get there. <laughs> Did you make it to Heaven Sword? No, not yet. I'm still on the last couple quests. I'm on an allied perspective. So I think I still have like 10 more to go. Uh, let's see. Yeah, 10 after this one. Wait, I passed it. I <laughs> Hold on. You distracted me, Noah. There it is. Oh no! And Tara is here, just like killing them. <laughs> the damn dragons! We saved you, buddy. It's okay. Oh, we didn't save these people though. It's a day. Ugh! Now we have to go all the way up there. I hate these quests. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Don't throw a snowball at me. How do you do that? I can't do that while I'm writing a mount. What do I- how do I- is it throw? Ah! It's throw. I got you. <laughs> I 
<laughs> run away. Run away. <laughs> oh no, I moved. get out of here <laughs> this way <laughs> maybe oh my gosh why can't I okay I found a way hey fellow Ixian I do like the music in this area, and it's intense, and there's a mission going on. Boo boo! Wait, can I go up here? No. I can't. I have to go through the city? The next one's gonna be like all the way at the bottom of the map. Figures. I see the dragons! We're coming, dudes. Just one <laughs> Tara. <laughs> I did it. There's this dude. little guy. But I got you. Thank the gods you're here. I know, right? How can I can't... Oh, there we go. Good, that was the last one. Report to Excellent. Alright, so now we gotta go back. Gotta go back.
Hey, there's black sheep up here. Will I die if I jump off of this? What if I go level by level? I'm gonna die. I pretty much died. That's alright. Going the wrong way, Tara! adventurer. The reinforcements? Decimated, you say? Dravanian devils. Damn their scaly hides. Hold fast to your grief and fury, my lady. We will avenge the deaths of your fellows in the battle to come. Alright. Uh, I will be right back. Up go pee. Be right back. I'm back. Okay. I'm gonna need um some dinner soon too. to protect the bridge. Steps of faith! A new dungeon! Or is that a trial? 
I think it's a dungeon. <laughs> I love your sheep. Do you want to do Steps of Faith with me? Is Cody available? Is Noah available? Are you still busy, Noah, if you're still there? I like this music. It's like, oh, I want to. All right, so I'm inviting Cody. Noah's still not on. Let me see if one of my friends. like to join. Whoops. Discord. Commanderville dance. I am so happy I got that. Put water all over me. Uh, no, it's not. Okay, that's all right. Why is it locked? Average item level 90. Uh, you gotta upgrade your accessories. Okay. Uh, since my item level is 87. all the ironworks I should be anyway let's see
I had other items equipped from when I got Dancer. Okay, let's try this again. There we go. So we apparently you fought cannons before, but now they took that out. Why are you playing dead? <laughs> Too much dancing. <laughs> Let's go. All right, so I have no idea what I'm doing. I've never done this one before. Oh. He's scary looking. Hello, party members. Oh, Cody's wearing near. All right, what do we do? <laughs> I guess we're fighting it. I can't even see it. <laughs> it's so big. <laughs> Have some battles cries. Oh crap! Okay, don't touch the feet. Don't touch the feet. Do I fight these little dudes? I'm attacking its butt! <laughs> I can't even tell if I'm, like, targeted on it. I'm not. There we go. I'm so good at this game! I have all my straight shots.
got him. He's almost to cross the bridge. We can't let that happen. Oh, there's the cannons. Nope. Wait, not anymore. Keep thinking that I'm closer than I actually am because he's so big. this big dragon here. Ah. Wait, did we defeat it? Or did we lose? It says I got achievement. Okay, we defeated it. <laughs> a long way to the exit. Accommodation. I think it was my first one, and I didn't know what I was doing. The dragons, they're withdrawing! Victory is ours! Well, he looks sickly. That's what he did. There's the cool dragon dude. Teach me your ways. One of Nighog's greatest champions slain. The Horde will not soon recover from this blow. But what of you, Nidhogg? Why did you not join your minions and make of this battle a slaughter? Have you grown so fond of the stench of your lair? I hope you prefer to have your allies fight your battles for you. You have a girl to do your bidding now, do you not? No matter. I shall slay Iceheart and all the rest. Hmm. But I yearn to spill the blood of Great Worm, Nidhogg. Oh, spill the blood. And only your death will state my limits. 
is out for blood. That was fun. Alpha, no, we did it. Sella, the dragons are ro rooted, routed. Unless you wonder, the fight at the Steel Vigil was also fierce, but my crystal braves were not found wanting. Commander Luis Sela, true to your word, you arrived to aid us in our hour of need. On behalf of the Holy See and the people of Ishgard, I offer you my humble thanks. You are welcome. <laughs> Hopefully they'll join our alliance. Now we go report to Menphilia. Kind of want to see Menphilia fight. Or does she not fight? Is she not like a fighting person? Whoops. How do you do a victory pose? Is it not just victory? <laughs> you don't have it yet further in story. Oh, pff, of course. I can't be cool. But soon I have See, I just finished Steps of Faith. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Like nine more to go. Huh, this is taking longer than I thought. I am getting so close. Alright, so I'm um I am returning to to Revidence Toll. More. Don't know. never know what I need. Spell speed or skill speed? When in doubt, when in doubt, ask your link shell.
I don't plan... Skill, but both are pretty meh. Okay, I'll just go skill. Da, 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 da. You must be weary, Sela. Yeah, I am getting pretty weary with all these quests. <laughs> and now may very well be your only chance to... Tataru! A messenger from Ulda arrived with a missive for you. Royal seal, curious indeed. Hmm. Ah, an invitation. On behalf of the Council of the Eorzean Alliance, Her Royal Majesty Nanamo Ulnamo invites the Scions of the Seventh Dawn to attend a feast at the Royal Palace of Ulda in honor of Ishgard's recent victory. It would seem we are to be recognized for our part in lifting the siege. You are your you for your valiant efforts as commander of the adventurer's contingent and the Archons for their earnest attempt to rouse the city-states. Truly, I find it strange that the Alliance leaders would think themselves deserving of a place at such a celebration. I know, they didn't really help at all. All three refused to deploy their standing armies, preferring to send hastily assembled companies of sellswords, many of whom perished Ere the siege began. Uh, are they truly so brazen to be as to seek to share in the glory of your triumph? Ah, but mayhaps they simply seek to pretext the meats from the Ishgardians while the mood is yet jubilant. Such an occasion would present a fine opportunity to press for Ishgard's return to the Eorzean Alliance. Ah, uh, probably. We have scarce had time to mourn Moonbrida. No. And I, for one, am in no mood for Karus. Karus? Karus? But I suppose we uh, must put away our grief for the good of the realm. Uh, da 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 da. Tataru, if you would be do me a favor of contacting the rest of the Scions? Of course! And please let me know if there's anything else I can do. <sighs> Curious, I have never known Totaro to sigh at such requests. Could ought be amiss? I sense another mission coming on. Yep, look for Tataru at her desk. Is she sad about Moonbrida? Trying to get comfortable. Oh, she's not here. Taro, I believe she just stepped outside. Now that I think on it, she did seem rather preoccupied. Tataru, where'd you go? I'm going, yeah. another orange circle thing. Oh, 
I bet she's probably on the roof. Maybe? Oh, there she is. Oh, Sel, it's you. I didn't mean to worry anyone. It's nothing, really. Well, it's not nothing, exactly, but it feels like nothing compared to the towering trials you and the others face every day. And that's why I should probably talk to Minfilia before things get any worse. Ah, oh, you always know what to say, Sela. I'm glad we had this little chat. But I didn't say anything. <laughs> okay, I'm glad you could vent to me, Tataru. One step closer. My mind is made up. Is she gonna fight? Is she gonna do things? She gonna throw knives? Yes, Tataru, you have my undivided attention. I've been hesitant to broach the subject, but with all the recent excitement and- But Sela made me realize that there's no time like the present. And time is what I'm here to ask you for. I'm not sure I understand. If you wish to be excused from your duties for a time, then you have certainly earned the rest. But I suspect that lying abed is far from your intent. You know me too well, Ascendian. There is, in fact, something I've been wanting to try my hand at. Along with the adventurers and the Crystal Braves, the Scions are constantly being thrown into dangerous battles and deadly predicaments. Even Hori Boulder and Countenance have been promoted from guild duty to fill our need for competent warriors. And so it seems only right that I, too, should acquire the power to defend myself. And others, more importantly, when I return, I shall be both your receptionist and your bodyguard. Oh, Tataru. <laughs> Wait, so she's leaving to go, f like, train? What's she gonna be, though? Oh, hey. That's the first time I've almost been knocked to the ground by a Lollafell. <laughs> uh, wow. She, uh, Tataru is pretty strong if you, she can knock you down. I've never seen Miss Tataru so determined. Has aught befell with which I might help? Ah, uh, not a present, thank you. Was there something you would ask of me? Ah, uh, yes. Pray excuse my distraction. An adventurer who was to join us for an escort duty was injured while out on patrol. Oh no, not another escort mission. <laughs> and I fear we cannot proper defend the scholars entrusted to our protection without the aid of one, at least one more guard. Therefore, I humbly request that another adventurer of the capable, capable kind, of course, be assigned to our party. Very well, I should consider the potential candidates and provide you with a replacement as soon as I am able. My thanks, Ascendiant. I uh, take my leave of you. Da, 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 da. Oh, which one? Which one do I do? Uh... Where we are... I think I have to do both? I think I have to do both. The power to defend oneself. Hmm. Tataru never been full of has never been full of surprises. Now that I think on it, I do recall Urianje mentioning that she had developed an interest in Arcanima. Mayhap she hopes to gain a dependence to the Arcanist skill, the Limsa Lominsa. Yes, that will be the way of it. 
Would you be so kind as to journey to the guild and see what all is well? That all is well. It is doubtless unwanted. Warranted. But surely I am not alone in my concern for her safety. Oh, I'll just accept the other one too. I wonder, do you much recall the commitment I made to the... Oh yeah, the escort stuff. Okay, fine. I'm not gonna read that one. <laughs> I wanna know about Tataru though, so we'll do that one first. Or where does this one need me? Oh, I need to go talk to him. So, I'll do that. Ah, oh, Sela, it is truly that you agreed to lend us a hand? Is it truly? Huzzah! What did I tell you? Our misfortune is becoming a blessing. An opportunity to serve alongside the warrior of light herself. I think. Need I remind you that we have three scholars to escort, each of whom will take a different route? True, true, but our mission is the same. Separated by ma'ams, ma'ams, we may be, but in spirit we shall be together. If such thoughts bring you joy, you are welcome to think them. To more practical concerns, Sela, we would have you attend to the scholars charged with surveying the South Shroud. He is waiting at Camp Tranquil as we speak. All you need to do is follow the man. He will determine the most appropriate location to take his readings. In spirit, Stella, in spirit. We shall be together every step of the way. They are pretty funny. I'm glad I could uh, fight them earlier and I beat their butts. Um, I guess we'll go to, to Ulda first. Hair is always in my way. There we go. I clicked the wrong one. I didn't want to go to the Fisher's Guild. <laughs> I want to go to the Arcanist Guild. Do I go? Is this the way I go? Yes. Maybe? It says that they're in here. I am confused. Oh, do I go down? I've never been down here. Is she fighting? Oh, there she is. She is, she's gonna be an Arcanus. Stella, what are you doing here? mean for her to worry. That's the last thing I wanted. Putting an end to such worries is precisely the reason I'm here, don't you see? I, Tataru, Taru, shall become a great and powerful Arcanist. And now, as mistress, I... there was something 
behest, I must go and complete a special training exercise. Until we meet again. You do it, Totaru. I'm cheering you on. Oh, she's gonna be such an awesome Arcanist. Arcanist. Hila. Okay. Oh, now I gotta go speak to the the head. Arcanist must be up above. Midgosamar, my little dragon, must be like, oh, why is she doing all these quests? I don't know either. Greetings, and welcome to the Arcanist Guild. Do you require assistance? You are acquainted with our newest member. Hmm, I am sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but I fear young Totaru may not be ideally suited to the study of our Canemia. Oh no! Nevertheless, she would not be denied and goes now to undertake her first trial, a simulated inspection of three crates. A simple task, some might say, but one all arcanists are expected to complete. A thought, a thought occurs to me. Why not supervise Sitaru's training? You are clearly an accomplished uh, adventurer, and given your relationship with the girl, you seem an ideal person to have on hand. Her trial will be conducted at the cliffs south of the Zephyr Gate. You need only observe at a distance. Okay. I'll go cheer her on. Uh, okay. Did I go this way? place confuses me sometimes. There's so many layers. No. Yay, I went to the right place. Okay. Oops, no, I... Accidentally moved. Why is your seized pirate's port where she met her shining jewel? For be bring the smuggler's plan to not come the last whom none could fool. Are those crates I spy? 
Ah, and this must be the true test. <laughs> but we're ready for them, aren't we, Carbuncle? Carbuncle. <laughs> oh no! Carbuncle? He left her! Come back! Uh oh. Why are you always getting in trouble, Tataru? I should have known you'd come, Sela. Oh, you wouldn't say a word. Your face says it all. I know you bore witness to my shame. Betrayed by my own carbuncle and left at the mercy of wild beasts. I must accept the truth. I'll never be a warrior like you or the others. I will inform Mistress of my intention to withdraw from the guild. Like so much else is beyond me. I want to be like, no, you can do it. She's probably gonna have to like try all the jobs and we're gonna have to go and help her. Is that what it is? Aww. Kind of just, I want to see her be like a ninja. <laughs> I think that'd be super cute and cool. Where am I going? Okay, let's go. So soon? How fared our fledging arcanist? Absolutely, Mistress Asella will testify. I was wrong to become an arcanist. Wrong as usual. I'm back eating and watching you. Oh, welcome back. Yeah, I'm gonna have to cook up some food in a little bit. I was wrong to become an arcanist, wrong as usual. I'm completely and utterly unqualified, and I sincerely apologize for wasting your time. Oh, Tutaru, if that were true, I would not have permitted you to join in the first place. We must all come to accept our limitations, lest our ambitions lead us astray. However, you must not lose sight of our strengths in the process. For example, your exceptional skill with numbers helped you to gain a solid grasp of the fundamentals of our Kanemia. Can Kenema? Or Kenema? <laughs> Were it not so, you would have struggled even to summon Carbuncle to your side. In my opinion, the Zions are truly fortunate to have such a capable and good-natured receptionist in their service. Would you not agree? You are too kind, mistress. Though I could not overcome this challenge, I shall take your word to heart and try not to be discouraged. He's so cute. You can do it, Tataru. 
Wait, so is she gonna continue being an arc arcanist? My chair keeps rolling over my cords here. Oh, she looks so defeated. I just want to hug her. <laughs> so sad. Ah, as fetching as these garments are, I fear I shall never don them again. But I can't go back to the Rising Stones without something to show for my time away. Wait, I know what I can do. That is, if you don't mind accompanying me for a little longer. Sure. Wonderful! Then to Costa del Sol we will go. It's a bit of a gamble, but I'm confident it will pay off. <gasps> Poor Totoro, I know! She's trying so hard. She just wants to fit in. Uh, yeah, I'll just continue this quest. Is she in a bathing suit? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is the cutest thing. Yes, this is it. This is where the man at the drowning wrench told me to look. There is certain variety of uh, clam which... Or, uh, clam? Which will be harvested this time of year in Bloodshore. One which produces the most marvelous pearls. However, these clams are also coveted by certain wild creatures. And since I fared rather poorly in battle last time, <clears throat> let us be off. <laughs> am I capturing clams with you? Where am I going? I think I'm going this way. Oh, went for a short swim. That was Final Fantasy XI. Is this the uh, XI stuff? Look at the crabs! Oh my god, this song! I'm tempted to, to do this. What fortune? I've already found one. Would it be so kind as to keep watch while I work? This should only take a moment. Okay. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. You stay away from Tataru. She's clamming. <laughs> Did I defeat it or did I go out the limits? Ugh, probably went out of the limit. Your dragon on your shoulder makes me laugh. Oh, why? He's so cute.
I don't know what the boundary is. I don't want to go out of the bounds again. So I just go in circle. Just the fact that you're bouncing around and he's just sitting there, yeah? He's cute. Well fought, Sella, well fought. I knew I was uh, the right to ask you to come. As for me, I have my prize, a bounty of blood pearls. So named for their reddish hue, they were treasured as wards against dark magics in ancient times. I thought I might make charms for everyone, so that no matter where they go, they will always come home. <laughs> It's sort of the power to defend myself and other people, in a way. Right, well, I mustn't keep... Flahamon? Flahamon? Waiting. There's work to be done, and lots of it. We're to secure provisions for the Scions in the Limsonian markets. She may have an eye for quality, but I have a nose for bargains. Will you be heading back to the Rising Stones? If so, pray convoy my apologies to the Ascendiant and tell her she is needed Needn't worry about me. Farewell, Selen. Thank you for everything. Hmm, that sounded rather final, didn't it? How about until we meet again? Okay. Wait, what was that smile for? Doo -doo -doo. All right, I'm gonna be right back. I am going to go get some food. Um, I'm just gonna warm up some leftover General Gauss chicken. So, be right back.
Okay, I'm back for like three minutes while it heats up in the oven. Ah, <laughs> oh, this music! I kind of just want to do this thing. All fancy 11. All right, now where am I going? Going back to Minfilia. Okay, so now I'll probably do the other quest so I can go back to Minfilia twice for those two quests. <laughs> I don't know if anybody's still here, but if you are, welcome! Playing Final Fantasy XIV. Trying to get to Heaven's Sword. I am, uh, like, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight quests away. I've done so many quests and I just can't wait. Where am I going? Oh, yeah, it's the escort one. Unsettled scholar. At last, the science woman. Deans to grace me with her presence. Pity that you have no time for pleasantries. <laughs> okay. Our first destination is Osamhar. Come, we are late enough as it is. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't want to do this mission anyway. Where am I going? Oh, all the way over there. Okay. Right? I'm not even in query. What? I am confuzzled. How are you already there? I thought I was escorting you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Never mind. We're good. We're all good. Where's my timer? Hey, babe, can you just stop the toaster, please? Thank you. You're welcome. Alright, guys, stand by, watch for beasts. Zell for helping out. So we both completed our respective tasks. A satisfactory outcome, though it would not make one suggestion. You might try to dispatch your foes more quietly in future. I do not like to pick fault, but I really must be allowed to concentrate. Well, I'm sorry, I just like saved your life. <laughs> oh my gosh. This scholar, man. Doesn't like, uh... Wait.
Excuse me, Mr. Tree. Right about here. Yes, as before, I would ask that you keep an eye out for dangerous pieces as I work. Yes, as long as you're thankful next time. These readings are not at all what I expected, though perhaps that should come as no surprise. I am not given a superstition, but there is a queer, almost blasphemous air hereabouts. Let us quit this place and return to Roots Lake. We have one more site to survey. <laughs> He's even complaining about the air in like a lush forest. Oh my gosh. Where is that? Oh, okay. Oh, I almost forgot about my food that I just warmed up. It's probably, like, getting cold now. <laughs> I will get it after this. Dun, dun, dun. These flowers are pretty! As before, my guardian, pray leave me to my task and ensure our safety. Okay. It's getting pretty dark out. I'm gonna have to turn a light on soon. I'm afraid to use my AoE attacks because I don't want to aggro all this other wraiths. Oh crap, I did just attack one that I didn't mean to. Alright. No, and I did it again. <laughs> oh, okay. They sound so cute, actually. I kind of... they like squeaky toys. data should prove invaluable to sniff. He gods, what is that stench? Did you slaughter a creep of Admos to something while my back was turned? Jeez, would you stop complaining? <laughs> I just saved you. <laughs> Quickly now, to Camp Tranquil. I will not have my clothing reek of blood and offil. Ophiel. Well, fine. I didn't really want to escort you anyway. Just doing my duty. How do I get back up there? Oh. It's 
just makes me want to play Final Fantasy X again. Oh, I love that game so much. Hmm, he chose to paddle in the Ikora a while longer, I take it? No wonder. I took advantage of my unexpected privacy and performed a cursory analysis of my data. It would appear that there has been a measurable decrease in Eorzea's ambient ether concentration since the Calamity. However, this data is far from conclusive. We must take additional measures to uh, confirm my uh, assessments. Hmm. Wait, do I need to do his quest? Ugh, yeah. I don't want to be near you anymore. Oh wait, my food. Hold on, I'm gonna get that real quick. It's gonna mute. Okay. Turn on the light. Okay. I'm back. Welcome back. I don't know when you said that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so I'm not gonna read while I'm eating. Uh, out loud, anyway save you guys. Huh? Oh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> um, you might have to unplug it. I might have to unplug it. Hold on. My... Husband needs a light that's plugged in underneath my table.
Oh my god, four more, Brit. You can get it tonight. I know. I'm so close. <laughs> I'm so freaking close. Why do I look so red? Hmm. I don't know. I'll have to figure that out later. I missed what he said. I think I clicked it too fast. Oh well. Is, whoa, so confusing. Oh, it's pretty. This place is so pretty. I don't think I've ever been here before. Does he get eaten? Yes, yes, quite high. Where's he going? What's our Zell look alike? No, is it? No. Well, it must be what um, that person told us earlier, that there's a traitor among us.
All right, so now we go back to Inphelia. And turn in both those quests. Now I'm gonna eat more General Gauss chicken. <laughs> and it is cold. I can't believe I should have got it when my alarm went off. Oh well. Why am I so red? Hold on, I'm gonna try to fix that. Here's my face. Yeah, <laughs> I look kind of green. I think it can't be helped. Oh well. It's just my bad lighting. Mmm. Will you? I think the least among us was Tataru's. I'll do that first. Oh, no, that's the other one. Let's zoom in a little bit. Oh, it was him, Wilred. I will send word to Alphano at once. He will want to conduct a full investigation and send word to Wilfred's family. Gods, he was just a boy. Who would do this and why? Wait, no, it wasn't the Zell lookalike. I'm confused. Uh, I just want the gill. Welcome home, Seller. I gather you found Tataru and Limsa Laminsa? Yes, and she was so cute. Why, it sounds as though she had quite an adventure, and while it did not end as she had hoped, I suspect that it will pr prove to be a valuable experience. <laughs> I dare say she could have managed without our interven intervention. Even so, I appreciate your indulging my request. You indulging my request. Which one? A time to every purpose. Oh, this is the fourth one. While others look forward to the impending royal banquet. More food. Please be voice acted. Ah, no. I want some. You can have some. It doesn't look that bad to me. Okay. So did I make it worse or better? <laughs> ah. I do hope we join forces with this guard. Ish guard.
You take all the time you need, Rinfilia. A lot has happened. Okay, he's okay. Oh, Teleji's uh, intervening with the Crystal Braves. <gasps> Thanks, Deadly Confusion Six Two Five, for the follow. Yay! We are one more to our goal. Welcome. <laughs> oh, he's angry. Don't mind me, I'm still eating my my, um, General Gao's chicken. What? Even though it's cold. Teleji's an evil man! Back to Ulda! I hope we get like a cool cutscene soon. I got another one. Oh! Is he your friend, Ryan? Thank you! <laughs> we can do it, guys! I believe in us. Ye nice. Thank you. Much appreciated. I'd hope that we might make our introductions together, but Mistress Mamodi just sent word that you are needed at Quicksand. What? I wanted to go to the feast! We will go on ahead, celebrate, join us once matters at Quicksand are resolved. Fine, I'll do your dirty work for you. 
give my regards to Mamodi and tell her that I will call on her nun. Is that a bow? It's massive. It is! I am a bard in this game. Um, so I shoot lots of arrows and sing songs. And this is my current bow. I do have the legendary uh, weapon, which is all glowy. But it's not as good as this one. Uh, this one? this one yeah no not that one that one's also glowy though this one yeah they got big bows in this game it's pretty cool I am trying to get to um the expansion Heaven Sword, because that supposedly is like the best story of this game. And I have been doing these main story quests, pretty much filler episodes, for like almost a month now. There was like over a hundred of them, and I'm so done. But I only have um, like four more missions to go, so we're almost there. Where am I going? Adventurous Guild. Those look so cool. Yeah, they are cool! There's so many different, like, custom things that you could do in this game. It's kind of overwhelming at times. Because you can be wearing one armor, but glamour it to look like something else. I appreciate you dropping in on such short notice, Sela. I know that you've been pl you've yep. you've got places to be, so I won't waste your time. You're friends with the Crystal Brave by the name of Alain, aren't you? Former adventurer. Come to think of it, I'm pretty sure you recruited her yourself. Well, anyway, she came round for a meal not long ago, and before she left, she asked me to give you a message. Said if the others ended up dragging you to the feast, I was to see you got it before you made your grand entrance. Meet me at the station west of the coffer and coffin. There's something I must show you. Hmm. A short message, I'll grant you, but she thought long and hard before picking those words. Rarely touched her food, too, under other circumstances. I'd have thought those signs of a troubled heart, but something tells me she ain't planning to ask you your thoughts on a gentleman caller. <laughs> I wonder what it could be! But I just want to go to the feast! Oh, hi, Richard! Yeah, the best expansion is Shadowbringers, but Heaven Sword is pretty good as well. Also, hi! Hi! Welcome! You failed to see me. Oh no, Tara, were you there? I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I hear... He well, Heaven Sword, I hear is really good. And then I've also been hearing Shadowbringers is good, almost up to par. Or, as you say, better. So I'm excited. I'm ready to get out of this main story quest hellhole. <laughs> so done. Why do I have a bad feeling that, like, something's gonna happen? Something bad? <laughs> Thank 
Thanks for the follow, Richard! Welcome! Oh man, we are so close to our goal now. I'm excited. Yeah, you're almost there. You can do it. Yes. I can do it. Wait, I'll read this once I'm done chewing. As you stand upon the platform, your thoughts begin to wander, and all too soon the ghosts of comrades lost and enemies slain begin to file by your mind's eye in seldom procession. Clearing your head, you scan the horizon, but see no sign of Elaine. Elaine? Elaine? I don't know how to pronounce her name. Mm. Straining your ears to listen, you hear the chatter of Quiquirin and the buzzing of Scyphids, uh, but no approaching footfall. Sighing, your bow, you bow your head, only to notice the vial lying at your feet. Hmm. Sela, is that you? What brings you out this way? Hey! Who's that? And the Crystal Braves. Lieutenant Elaine? Ah! Kusake! Welcome! Thanks for the follow! We are so close to our goal! <laughs> Yay! Excuse me, I'm still eating my dinner. Oh, I know, I haven't seen her about. She come this way, I guarantee we would have crossed paths. I must have passed this spot a dozen times. Why are you out here, though? We're- oh, we're to patrol the cities and Veron's an account on the royal banquet. Captain's orders, you understand? Speaking of which, isn't it about to begin? You should be with your other honored guests. Enjoy your well-deserved respite. I pray return to old Osella. If I chance to meet the lieutenant, I will tell her you were here. Why does he seem suspicious? Oh, did you see his face change? He's like, mm. Oh, he's link shelling someone. Is that a word? <laughs> link shelling? Telling? He's no good. I love that she has plushies on her bed. Oh, salt and tree. Hallowed spirit of my line. I'm trying to be very quiet. Through my weakness, the glorious house of Ul has all but disappeared beneath the sands. For want of the strength to raise it up again, it were better that it fall. Oh yeah, you're still playing. I am still here! Welcome back, Noah. Forgive me, but I know not what else to do. Okay. Can I talk to this guy again? Can I be like, hey, you, um, something's amiss with you? Gods, I envy you all that food and wine, but I cannot think of a woman more deserving. Enjoy the feast, Stella. You've earned it. Oh, uh, yeah. Good words. Um. So I found this vial that now I have to go show to Momodi.
Oh, is that the no? Enter. What is this clouded vial? She must have been in some trouble. Oops. I reckon you'd head straight to the feast after meeting with Ella. Elian? 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 Uh, what's the matter? No appetite? No, look at this vial that I found. So she wasn't there, but this was, eh? Let's see. Hmm, looks to me like an alchemist vial. But beyond that, I can't say. Might be best if you hold on to it for fa safe keeping, though. Okay. Any road no use worrying about, Elian? I'm sure she'll turn up before too long, and when she does, she'll soon find out that this was all in aid of. Uh, besides, you got more important things to think about. Yeah, that feast! All that food! But I'm still kind of worried. Would you believe that while you were away, another message arrived for you? Well, one did. <laughs> Within, like, the split second. Excuse me. Uh, one delivered by the Sultana's hey. Handmaiden, no less. Seems her, grace dis bleh, seems her grace desires a private audience. Her handmaiden will meet you on a roy the royal promenade and escort you to the sultana's chambers. So what are you waiting for? Go on, then. Go! Oh, okay. Can I have a tea party? You needn't trouble yourself, so. Your grace is most kind, but it is no trouble to me, rather an honor. If your grace is ready, I shall summon the warrior of light. I am. Look at all that food! They're actually getting along. She looks to be in high spirits. Good cause. A common victory may serve to unite even the most unlikely of allies. You've brought us one step closer to a united Eorzea. Your modesty knows no bounds, antecedent. Antecedent, that's how you pronounce it. Were it not for your efforts, Sir Emmerich would never have become such a steadfast ally. When he convinces his countrymen to rejoin the Alliance, we shall all reap the benefits, military and economic. I tell you, we are on the cusp of a new era of unity and prosperity. Now I'm hungry, I know! I'm eating and I'm still hungry. <laughs> Territorial disputes are all that divide us now. But I have faith that we will find an amicable solution in time. And failing that, I'll have my trusty warrior of light box the ears of all concerned. Speaking of whom... She will be joining us shortly. A matter at the quicksand required her attention, but it did not sound serious. Maybe... Somehow, all these things are connected, and I just don't know how. Alright, putting this aside. Uh, uh, where am I going? 
back to the crystal. Well, let's find out, yes, shall we? I'm excited. It's actually getting, like, good now. Before, it was just like, go escort this person, go fight these mobs, go collect this for me. And I'm like, why am I doing this? Why am I going up there? I don't know. <laughs> but now, like, the story is actually continuing, so... It's good. Where am I? What am I? I missed it, didn't I? This way. And yet again, she ignores me. <laughs> Where are you? I'm sorry, I'm so focused. Come to the... Come to the... The hall, the fame promenade place. I never- you know me, I never look at chat. Ignored, <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I'm sorry. Oh, the fetching quests are done for now. It's a story time, yes! I'm excited. Am I waiting for you, Tara, or should I? Oh no, I see you. Oh look, I'm waving and I'm poking you. Your outfit's so cool. <laughs> what armor is that? You almost look like um a heartless. A uh, armored heartless. So cool. <laughs> I really wish I could change my voice. All right, gonna go find out what's going on at this feast. I stole it from Odin. Ooh. I might have to go steal it from him, too. Uh, thanks for coming, madam. Your grace is most eager to speak with you. If you require a moment to compose yourself before your audience, you may have it. Or, if you are ready, it would be my honor to escort you to her grace's chambers forthwith. Upon proceeding to the Satanist bedchamber, several cutscenes will play in sequence. Oh boy, it's even giving me a warning! Yay! Look at that soda emoji. Oh, it's Snoopy! I love that! Alright, here we go, guys. It's gonna be lots of cutscenes. I hope it's voice, voice acted, because I don't want to read all that. It is recommended that you set aside sufficient time to view these scenes in their entirety. Oh man. Um, you know what, actually, let me go to the bathroom one more time. <laughs> um, so, before we begin, before we go on this endeavor, begin this endeavor, I will be back one sec. It's about 40 to 45 minutes long, so yeah, oh my gosh. Maybe I'll grab a snack too, even though I just ate. Um, I do have water, so this is good. Okay, I'll be- Ooh, I'm drooling. I'll be right back.
Okay. I got some trail mix in case I get hungry again. <laughs> My water is filled. I just went pee. Put on some chapstick. Let's do this. I'm actually kind of excited. I am excited. But then, don't I still have like quests after this? Before the Heaven Sword? Bed chamber. <laughs> All right, let's go. Enter. Enter. Oh, I still gotta click. Your grace, your guest has arrived. Pray, come in and take your ease. Is well that the steps of faith held against the horde. And what of the city proper? We sustained some few losses, but the heart of our nation yet beats with vigor. I am not certain I could say the same had we not received your most generous aid. An attack on Ishgard is an attack on the realm. We stand together or fall divided. Is the sound okay for you guys? Such noble words, after the fact. Aye, all is well. Okay, good. I had hoped to speak in the presence of her grace, but it seems she has been delayed. That being the case, now would seem as good a time as any. Honored friends, Pray allow me to convey Ishgard's warmest gratitude for your part in the defense of our lands. Tis upon the success of this very alliance that my recommendation to throw open the gates of judgment shall be founded. With the blessing of the Archbishop, it is my hope that Ishgard will soon be reunited with her long estranged sister nations, and that Eorzea shall once more be as one. Oh. Finally, it only took you until dragons attacked. Very well. Is Artemis? Nothing to worry about. I shall return anon. Wait. Very suspicious. You wished a word, Yu Yu Hase? You may go. Your Grace. Why does she walk so slowly? You must be curious as to the reason for this private audience. The matter I would discuss, however, 
will soon make apparent the need for discretion. I should have took my helmet I off. To abdicate the throne and dissolve the monarchy. You have seen for yourself the storm of turmoil that howls through our streets. The government fails in its responsibilities, and my subjects suffer the consequences of our incompetence. But I will see them suffer no longer. The victory feast shall provide the stage on which I declare the dissolution of the Sultanate. It is mine intent that the ruling class of our golden city should take its place beside the common man in a fair and equitable republic. No more shall this nation bow to the whims of a privileged few. Yet, that which I propose will entail the tearing up of this city's very foundations. And even Roban, with all his strength and influence, will be hard-pressed to keep his footing on such treacherous ground. Thus would I ask you to lend him a steadying hand. You who have endured the wrath of innumerable foes are the one hero in whom I can place my trust. Will you do this thing for me? I am truly grateful. More grateful than I can well express. Much of my dread for the coming days has been quieted. Oh! Oh, this was in the cutscene! That was like terrifying. No. It was his doing. Did you see? He was like oh, smiling. Christ. Oh, but the servant served the wine. Her grace, the Sultana, is dead. The poison in her wine? F. What does F mean? <laughs> Fatal? You did this! I did not! Spare us your denials! I see no other suspects, and the room has but the one entrance. I hereby accuse you of a regicide! Men, arrest this viper! Uh, it's a meme from Call of Duty game. Oh, paying respects. Press F to pay respects. Oh. Okay, for a second I thought Alphano had betrayed us and I got really sad, but I am glad it's just Sir, these dudes. Barring a few exceptions, we have detained all those with allegiance to the Scions. The Rising Stones is also under our control. 
What? Hurry on, Jay. I hate his face. So smug. Why is it all the Lollafells that are like traitors? And what do you hope to achieve with this mutiny? Why that which we have striven for all along, Commander? The salvation of Eorzea. Never trust a potato. <laughs> Well, that's the reason we hate la lava bells. <laughs> Aww, but I liked them. <laughs> Melody's cool. Now, why do they need Alpha No? Oh, they're all so happy and they don't know what's going on! What is the meaning of this? Knights from the homeland. This cannot bode well. Lord Commander, we have received an urgent message from the Holy See. I am grieved to report that your serpentine foes have resumed their assault. Needless to say, your presence is urgently required. These knights have come to bear you swiftly home to Ishgard. Wait, but he's not even going to tell that the... What's-her-face died? Her grace? A surprise attack. We've had no such word from our men, and the timing is most fortuitous to catch us away from the city. Yeah, that's right. Fortuitous, indeed. Trust your girl. Lord Commander, we must away. Traitors. You have been a most gracious host. I hope that I might one day return the favor. Come, Lucia. I hope they're okay, and they don't get ambushed, or something. Yeah, please figure it out, Scions, you're smarter than this. Oh, of course. Whatever is going on in there? Ah, the ever-dutiful brass blades. I must apologize, but my dance card is rather full. Another time, perhaps? Thancred, of the Scions of the Seventh Door. You stand accused of committing acts of espionage in service to the Galian Empire. What? Espionage? What in the seven hells are you talking about? Ah. If you're referring to that business with the Ultima weapon, then you must understand, I, I wasn't myself. Under interrogation, an Imperial prisoner revealed your involvement in numerous dealings with the enemy. We've also been investigating reports that you are a practitioner of forbidden arts. You best come along with us. Run! You invite me to your party, and now you want me to leave? I do so detest receiving mixed signals. Come then. I believe I've lost my appetite for this farce of a celebration. I kind of wish he would, like, just jump off the ledge and be all, like, tuxedo mask. Rabang! <gasps> you go too far, Lord Adelegi. 
By what right do you march armed soldiers into a royal banquet and eject state visitors without her grace's consent? You treat the frost blades as your personal army and show contempt for the throne with your every act. Leave us now. Is that an order, General? Mayhap you have mistaken me for one of your flames. You will find I am not so slavishly obedient. <laughs> as you lecture me on personal armies. As for your outrageous claim that I have shown contempt for the throne, let all here observe that it was not I who feasted while an assassin removed its occupant. I expect this is your idea of defending the nation, is it? This and diluting our forces through these distractions in Cartano and Curthus. I do begin to see how the ranks of the immortal flames came to be riddled with guardian sympathizers. You are plainly unfit for command. Wait. Wait, gods damn you. Your words make no sense. What assassin? <gasps> You mean to say you don't know? We caught the vaunted champion of the Scions in Her Grace's private chambers, not moments after the deed was done. It wasn't us! No! No, this cannot be! Save your breath! You will need it to plead your case. You and your entire order are to be tried for this atrocity. I know, how could I betray everyone? So bad. Bring in the prisoner! Oof! This woman stands accused of poisoning Her Royal Majesty Nanamu Unamo and as suspected accessories to the crime, all members of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn will be detained for questioning. This is madness! What a pity. This is madness! Like this? <laughs> Sparta! <laughs> Sorry. Should you demand further proof, a vial with traces of the substance used to poison her grace was found upon the assassin's person. Oh! Oh, there it is. This is Ulda. <laughs> uh. So, she must have been trying to warn me? I don't know. Oh, there's the guy that was on watch. How very convenient. Oh, it's a setup. Convenience. Who persuaded her grace to host this celebration? A diversion which presented you and your confederates ample opportunity to commit the crime and a crowd within which to fade from view. A more convenient occasion I could scarcely imagine. How dare you! After all we have done for Uldar! Hold your tongue, witch! I'll not be ensorcelled! I know all about the dark gift that you and your disciples wield. Oh yes, I've observed how you worked upon the minds of the Alliance leaders, bending them to your will. And what of your cordial relationship with Sir Emmerich? For years, Ishgard abjured all contact with the outside world, and now the Lord Commander of the Temple Knights treats you with the familiarity of a childhood friend. I'll tell you what I think. I think this desperate defense of Ishgard was but a ruse to deceive us into dividing our forces. Your next move will be to charm your Curthen allies into invading our lands. Now that is truly ridiculous. How do you even think of this stuff? Yeah. She... she cannot be dead. Reborn. Stand aside, Ilbert. I want to see the Sultana. Spare yourself the pain, brother. I saw her with my own eyes. For a mercy. 
The poison took her swiftly. Her handmaiden can attest to that. This cannot be. Donamo. Donamo. No! She tried so hard. Plainly, the royalists can no longer be relied upon to keep our nation safe. And so it falls to the monetarists of the Syndicate to govern Uldar. But should you wish to help us, General, we would be more than happy to entrust the task of planning Her Grace's funeral to you. It seems only right that you should bury your precious Sultana, and we will be glad to be rid of that burden. I'll bet you will. You more than any man. Whatever do you mean? I mean you had her killed, you black-hearted bastard! Call it like it is. <laughs> what rot! <laughs> Though I did have sufficient motive, it is true. That young lady caused me no end of grief. She always was a most unwilling puppet. I dare say her grace was grateful that someone thought to cut her strings. He's so mean! You would mock her, then mock her from hell! <laughs> Wait, did he actually? <laughs> oh my gosh. That was epic. Go, Raban. He so deserved it. Oh my gosh. Ooh, that's scary. Have you lost your mind, General? It is forbidden to draw steel in the royal chambers, much less slaughter our fellow syndicate members. <gasps> You're one of them. You've been in league with the Scions all along. You, you're next to scheming bastard. His own friend! Oh, Rabon! Seven hells! Admiral, we must leave. Ah. Should hit the fan. How unlike you, old friend. I did not expect to take your arm so easily. Take the Scions into custody. They have conspired to commit regicide. I thought he was a good guy, no? <laughs> and arrest this traitor as well. I thought just Adelegi was scheming. Ilbert, I hope you choke on their coin. It's better than the dirt I've supped on these long years. We can't all abandon Alamigo and become great war heroes as you have. I like Dilbert. Maybe he's just doing it to save his friend's life. You are not the man you once were, Rabon. Since that girl strapped the yoke around your neck, you've become docile. 
She took the mad bull and cut off his balls. And a bull that cannot rot is fit for naught but slaughter. Shall I tell you who really killed your precious Sultana? It was me. Oh no! I really liked him! I'm so upset. <laughs> it was so hard not to let it slip. I know, because I was talking about him what was it a few a few quests ago and i was like i really like Gilbert. oh i'm so upset you you die <laughs> even with his arm chopped off get it Roban. Whoa. Oh, I thought he stabbed me for a minute. <laughs> Mino and Cody were all looking at each other like, oh no, oh, Robot is so badass. Yeah, he is. Look, he's just standing with his arm chopped off. He's just like, yeah, boys. I just noticed they're all just, they're all blonde. So now we're... Um... Criminals? On the run? Oh no, no, we gotta figure out what happens. Don't end it there. I hope we meet up with Thancred. Ah, there you are. Ah, ha, ha, I called it. <laughs> Thancred, where have you been? Avoiding the fumbling advances of some very persistent admirers. But when I realized the celebrations had turned sour, it seemed prudent to slip away and take stock of the situation. It would appear that much of the city is already under tight guard. It occurs to me that expanding the Brass Blade's authority may not have been such a wonderful idea after all. The success of this plan was contingent upon those thugs having the run of the place. Just how long has this scheme been in motion? A long time. Careful preparations, the maneuvering of forces. I am inclined to agree with the General's insistence that a deeper plot exists here. So... Would I be right in thinking we now have an excuse to pummel as many brass blades as we like? Unless you plan on pummeling them all, I'm not sure that will greatly aid our cause. <laughs> the Sultana's assassination was but one part of the scheme. We two were its targets. And though we did not share Pornonimo's fate, we are yet hobbled by the charges laid at our door. Where now might we seek refuge? Hell yeah, Yuda. Yeah, I know. I wish I got... We got more story with her. Like, she seems so cool. Even, like, ditzy, ditzy at times, but... Like, I just... I want her to fight more. I want more of her story. Where indeed, we may safely assume that our foe has thought to have the Rising Stones watched. You will. Oh, good. Okay. Forgive me for stating the obvious, but our choice of destination will matter little if we cannot secure an escape route out of Ulda. Happily, I believe I can provide one. 
Papa Shan once told me about the passages hidden in the walls of the palace. If I recall correctly, the fireplace in Anima's chambers conceals the entrance to a tunnel. It should lead outside the city and allow us to avoid any messy confrontations. You still have three whole expansions of story, yes! And I hope it's good story. I hear it's good story. Run! <gasps> Thank you! The 8 bit ninja gaming. Thanks for the follow. The rest of you go on ahead. I'll handle this lot. Oh, <gasps> yes. Do we get to see her fight? By yourself. Oh, I suppose I shall just have to join you. <laughs> I love this duo so much. <laughs> Another one! Oh! Morally, thank you! Now this should be interesting. Oh my gosh, we're so... Oh, we're like... Are we... What am I at? Am I one or two away from 50? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much! No problem, Ryan sent me... Thank you, Ryan! Oh my gosh! Ryan, you're my hero. <laughs> One more! We can do it! It's not even June yet. <laughs> that was my June goal. <laughs> oh my gosh. What's happening? Okay, Crystal Raves too, huh? No, this should be interesting. <laughs> I keep... Oh yeah! No, wait, no, now we're separated. No, I don't like this. We'll hold our pursuers here. Hurry, now. Find this tunnel of Thancreds. It never ends well when the party separates. When will they learn? <laughs> oh, I've missed something. One more, Ryan. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> wait, can I curse here? No! We cannot linger. Just gonna go look on your last one. Thank you! I feel bad for Minfelia. She's like... Has to take so much responsibility and... Holds everything together. I knew it! I knew the handmaiden was in on it. She's the glue of the scion. She is! <gasps> ah, now look what you've done! <gasps> we see a bit of her face! Oh my gosh! <laughs> I've been dying to know what she looks like underneath that mask. She has blue eyes. Ida, are you all right? There are just too many of them. I'm fine. I could do this all day. How about you? Nearing the end of my tether. <laughs> I love them so much. Uh-oh. This is so stupid. We're the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. The ones who stand between this realm and the evil that's trying to destroy it. And if you think we'll leave the stewardship of Eorzea to the likes of your masters, then you're sorely mistaken. Sorry I dragged you into this, Papa Limo. 
<laughs> Tis hardly the first time, and I'll be damned if it will be the last. <laughs> What's he doing? That's cool. That's really cool. Fading away like they're dying. Don't do that. It was like the Louis Swa smile. I never knew such a watercourse existed beneath Uldar. The architecture is of the Sildeen style, if I'm not mistaken. The ancients plainly foresaw the need for a ready means of escape. Oh! Here, Twitch! <laughs> this way! Well, that didn't take long. It seems these tunnels were not as secret as I had hoped. <laughs> well, if you knew about them, Thancred. You go on ahead. Thancred and I will deal with this. No! <gasps> Two more people! What do you mean to do? <laughs> this part was so intense. It is intense! I keep swiveling on my chair because I, like, need to move. Only that which is required to ensure that the dawn's light survive to brighten the morrow. Fear not, antecedent. You haven't seen the last of these fair features. <laughs> oh, thank Red. My friends. I know you're like stabbing her heart. Her balloon boobs. <laughs> That's all I think about. <laughs> Leave us. I ship them. Oh, you ship a uh, thank Red and. Yoshtala? What's her name? Oh, thank her in Winfilia. Aww. What is the plan, milady? Shall I take the dozen on the left and you the dozen on the right? The odds are not exactly stacked in our favor. Numbers will count for little when I bring the tunnel down upon their heads. Though I cannot say I relish the thought of being entombed with you for all eternity. You wound me. I will have you know that many a maid would kill for the chance to spend forever at my side. Now, may I have the last dance? Such a player. Whoa. Yeah, I want to level ninja so bad. Oh, no, no, he got sh an arrow to the knee. <laughs> well, this is going splendidly. Now would be a good time, my lady. Tis done. Whoa. Forgive me, Mitra. Who's that? Mitra. No, 
Oh no, now they're smiling and disappearing into the light again. I don't like this, guys. I don't like this at all. Uh, Chala is life. Yeah, I like her a lot too. Poor Ninja DPS. He didn't drop his circle even. <laughs> her sister, Summoner's job trainer. Oh! Yeah, I haven't tapped into Summoner's stuff at all. I don't think I've ever seen you this generally bummed out. I know, I'm so sad. Our party is being destroyed. Our friends. I am sad. No. I had to trudge through all those annoying quests with them. They know my pain. <laughs> I must remain behind, but you cannot stay with me. No, my <laughs> I can't do this. I don't want. I don't want to continue. <sighs> I was just saying I hope we see her fight and now I don't want to. You are the warrior of light. You are hope for the Scions and for all the realm. As long as your flame continues to burn, the light of the dawn may ever be relit. You must escape and save Eorzea from those who would plunge it into darkness. <sighs> Tis the only way. What even is she? What job is she? I don't even know. She must be all of them. What are you doing? Go help her! Ugh! I hate this. Goodbye, Sionis. No. <laughs> now you feel bad you rushed through those quests. No, actually, I still don't feel bad rushing through those. Be careful what you wish for. She's a minor. <laughs> See her axe, her pickaxe. This reminds me of like Eleven's opening, running out of the city. Alpha no. Right? Or is it the sister? I am glad to see you safe, my oh, friend. Good. But what of the others? Damn that man! Taleji played me for a fool! I thought the crystal braves mine till the very moment I felt the blade at my back. I know he worked so hard. Be awful time for soul searching later. For now, we must put some moms between us and Ulda. Why doesn't he get a name? Why is he question mark, question mark, question mark? <laughs> he must not be important. Well, if it ain't the hero of the science! You look to me like a woman in need of a nice, relaxing carriage ride. Wait, was he the one that helped us transfer the Scions to Revenant's Toll? I think it was him. And he told us how to, uh... make the chocobos not so smelly. <laughs> Oh, he most certainly is. Just don't know him yet. Oh, okay. Wait, so are all the Crystal Braves, like, against us? How did that happen? Also, he's the one from the very beginning of the game. Oh, okay. The very beginning. Oh, that's fitting.
Alfie should wear his hood up more often. I know, it looks kind of cool and creepy at the same time. I was stocking up on supplies over in Vesper Bay, you see, when your sister come up and begged a favor. Said her brother was having some trouble down in Uldar and likely needed a helping hand getting away. Thinking them ruins would make a fine hiding place, I decided to try there first. But lo and behold, there you were! There you were! Aye, and judging by them soldiers as were pouring out of the city, I arrived not a moment too soon. Ha! It must have been fate that we happened to find you there, though, eh? I had thought to look out for Alize. But would appear she was the one watching over me. I've made such a mess of things. The stars are so pretty. Sorry, I just noticed that. <laughs> and who might you be, young sir? Oh, we get a name. Pippin, Vice Marshal of the Immortal Pippin! <laughs> I love that. Pippin. I had been on the Alamegan front these past few moons, but an urgent communication called me back to Uldar. Scarce had my boots touched the cobbles, though, when the streets erupted with cries of assassination. I immediately went in search of answers and came across Master Alfino here. Needless to say, I did not think his imprisonment justified. The blame plainly lies with the Monetarists. Their greed and corruption are well known to me. But for them to take advantage of the situation with such alacrity... Pippin is like one of two good Valhalla's. <laughs> I was just gonna say, is he better not be a traitor too, because Pippin is too good. That name. Was that Pippin, you said? Ain't that the name of General Alden's lad? Yes, I am his son. Adopted, of course. It was only as we were leaving Uldar that I learned of father's fate. Tataru, Pippin, Wedge, Papa Sean. I love Tataru! Once I have seen you a safe distance away, I mean to return to the city and extricate him from this madness. Then you needn't travel no further than Blackbrush. Our fugitives have a friend waiting for them there. I dreamed of bringing about Eorzea's salvation. But in the end... It was I who needed saving. General Adelin says, and General Raban Adelin. Oh, is it? I didn't make the connection. Oh, that's so sad. He doesn't know. Oh no, the voice acting stopped. These soldiers will keep searching for a while yet. Reckon they'll take the carriage back towards Ulda. Get the lay, get the lay of the land. Maybe provide a distraction if need be. Yep, that's his baby boy. Oh, I love it. Ah, ah, Raban, he's such a dad now. Uh, you three wait here. Help will be along shortly. Stay strong, friends. The real fight's to come. Yeah, I can sense it. Oh, it's so pretty. All right, let's go. We're all split up, and I am sad. I don't know if my friends are dead. Oh, that was epic. That was pretty much worth all those quests. Oh my gosh. 
I don't even know what to say. I don't even know. I don't know what to do. I guess I do the next quest. <laughs> what does Alphano say? How could I have been so blind? I know! I think everybody was just blind to the fact that, like, we were all becoming allies and figuring stuff out. It was too good to be true. Where do you get your emotes, Kaya? I want your emotes. Are they Moogles? It's like some bear thing. I really like it. <laughs> now you gotta wait a year. Why do I have to wait a year? The most assuming folk can prove to be our greatest allies. The fellow was but a passing merchant, yet he lent us aid without a moment's hesitation or any hint of concern for his own safety. Though I can well imagine how a man could feel inspired to risk all in your presence. Uh, I must say that this part of the story is the part where I got invested for the first time. I love Final Fantasy XIV since then. It has it has its ups and downs, but Heaven Sword and Shadowbringers are awesome. Oh, cool! Yeah, I have a feeling that it's gonna get really good. Apparently I got gifted a sub. Cool! Uh... Father spoke often of you, Sela, and long have I looked forward to our first meeting. Needless to say, this is not at all how I envisioned it. He doesn't know about his dad! Master Alpha, no, you must not give in to despair. That would only play into our enemy's hands. So long as you and Sela are free, we may still set things right. Wait, we didn't get to see Menphelia fight or anything, though. That irks me. Forgive me, Marshal Tarupin, but I... Alphano? My boy! Sorry to keep you waiting! Who's that? Oh, it's Sid! <laughs> How could I forget about Sid? Sid, what are you doing here? Pulling you out of the fire, as usual. Your merchant friend told me everything. Truly? Then he is no merchant, but an angel in peddler's clothing. But tell us, how do you intend to bear our friends to safety? Always shows up at the least last moment. Yeah, he does. I hid the Enterprise, but a short distance away. All I need is a destination. You must find a place beyond the reach of both the Monas Monetarius and Crystal Braves. Corthus, Ishgard will not suffer the intrusion or foreign forces in their territory. That settles it. With me, everyone. Not I, I fear. I must remain here. I dare not, dare not abandon Ulda uh, and their croonies. You may be certain that they will seek to defame you, both here and the other city-states. But know that I shall do my utmost to thwart their every effort. Frankly, I do not expect it to be much of a challenge. The small folk will not turn so easily on the warrior of light and her allies, no matter what the monasteries claim. Marshal Tarupin, I... I know not what to say. Ah, huh, now that father would labor to believe, but enough talk. You must go, Master Alphano. Your airship awaits. Going on the airship. Up, up, there's no rest for the righteous. That's right. Now go help your dad.
Nod, nod. Should make for Camp Dragonhead and speak with Lord Hardfront. Mayhap, mayhap he will know what to do. Uh, I'm cold and sad. And I want my friends. Where am I? Okay. I call my mount. Where am I going? I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> Oh boy, we got, let's see, we're finishing the parting glass and then I have before the dawn, it's the last one before heaven sword. I think I can do it. I think I can finish it tonight. What, that mount is amazing. Isn't it so cool? Reminds me of Final Fantasy X, which is my favorite. And I love it so much. Ah, ah, ah. Out of my way! There we go. Master Alfano told me of your tale, Sela. It warms my heart that you should turn to me before all others. But I shall endeavor to dis- And I shall endeavor to deserve your trust. <laughs> Where were you? Ah! <laughs> Tara! You need to like... You need to like stand right in front of me or, or like... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm too engrossed. I want my friends back. <sighs> Alas, the situation here has grown more complicated in your absence. It would be best if I explain in full. Oh boy. What now, more dragons? I gave you a hug too. Oh no! <laughs> I'm the worst. There has been word from the capital. Oh. Ishgard has weathered another assault. And tis said several wyverns broke through into the city proper. The temple knights succeeded in slaying the beasts. But the intrusion prompted orders to further strengthen the guard and to place the city under a perpetual state of alert. How keenly we feel the loss of our wards at the gates of judgment. Yet we must not bemoan our misfortune. Sir Emmerich is safely returned from Uldar, and once more leads the defense of Ishgar. As for the matter of your asylum, I am afraid no progress will be made until the threat to our nation is diminished. I'll front my hubby. Oh, do you like him? He's pretty cool. I think he has a crush on the main character. But do not despair. You are not without allies. I'll front his husband, though. <laughs> Have I, like, gotten to that part yet? No? Is there something that will come up later? You are more than welcome to shelter here for as long as you wish. Pray, think of it as a new headquarters of sorts. The falling snows, or some such. All frivolity aside, any who come here in search of you will receive no aid from House Forton. For once, the Ishgardian reputation for inhospitality shall work in our favor. Uh -huh. Agents of Uldar will find their every inquiry dismissed, 
and their every request for entry rebuffed until such time as their masters have acknowledged your innocence. Oh, Alvin, I'm so sad. You once fought to preserve the honor of my dear friend. Tis a blessing that I may now repay that debt in kind. But let us dwell no more on this. Pray, join the rest of your companions. Tis bitterly cold this day. I suspect there are those who might welcome the warmth your presence brings. He's very popular with the player base. Oh. Well, in the Japanese version of the game, he tries to invite the W.O.L. to his chambers once. What's W.O.L.? <laughs> to spend a night. <laughs> oh, Warrior of Light. Duh. Oh, how come he doesn't do that in the English version? <laughs> Oops. Uh, I tried to just type hi. Why doesn't hello work? Wave? There we go. And Noah. Hi. <laughs> Thanks for the hug. I'll give you one too. <laughs> oh, how do you do that? Fist bump? Nope. Fist? Censorship? I don't know. Some story parts are different in English and Japanese versions. Oh, okay. Maybe that's what it was. Yeah, they didn't show any, like, blood or anything. Bro fist. No, it doesn't work! Do I have to unlock it? I want that emote! Oh well. I think it's bot- oh. It might be a story locked one. Oh, okay. I think it's from the referral program. Uh, of course. Okay! Um, oh wait, I gotta finish this quest. And then I'll be on to Heaven's Sword! Ah, we did it! <laughs> Where do I go? Yeah, over here. Greetings, madame. Shall I show you inside? Oh, upon proceeding into the intercessory, several cutscenes will play. There's more cutscenes? Oh my gosh, Flynn and E, we did it! Oh my gosh, thank you! Oh man! Whoa, wait, and Ninja! <gasps> wait, we surpassed 50! <laughs> <laughs> we did it! Thank you guys so much! Oh my gosh. Hello, welcome. We got 50 followers. It was my next goal. I don't know what we did, but I'm really excited. Me too! I'm so excited! <laughs> Thank you so much, welcome! <laughs> Using fun, I will be here now. Good! Welcome! <laughs> We are playing Final Fantasy XIV 
And I just did a bazillion quests to get to Heaven Sword, which is an expansion pack. And now it's telling me there is a bunch of cutscenes ahead. And um, I don't know if anybody in chat knows how long that is. I don't know. Um, let's see. Because I don't know how much, how many more cutscenes I can go through. <laughs> Not too long, maybe about 10 minutes. Oh, okay, we can do that. 15 at most. Alright, we got this. This is important one. Oh, okay. 50. Congrats, Fred! Yes! We did it! So if this is my last um, requirement for the day streaming... Which I think it is seven days out of seven days. I might become an a, a, an affiliate, but we'll see. I'll get an email notification. Dude, I think I helped. You did help. You were amazing. <laughs> it's Tataru. Oh. Oh, that that made me want to cry really bad. <laughs> Tataru, I love you so much. Oh. Wait, this is the art streamer that Ryan Elfin and Yurt watched a couple weeks ago. I remember things now. Yes, I am a. Uh, digital artist originally, but I'm trying to stream some games as two to be like a variety streamer, so yeah, I'm currently playing Final Fantasy XIV, so here we are. The feels, yeah. Tried contacting Minfilia and the others. No one would respond. Yes, I am now a fan. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks! Thanks for coming. And then Crystal Braves, our own people, turned on us in the marketplace. <sighs> Philhamon told me to run, and so I did. I ran, and I ran until my lungs burned and my feet ached. But I lost my way, and then... Fortunately, I had observed some of the Braves behaving suspiciously beforehand. Uh, Nagiri! Yogiri! 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 <laughs> I'd get her name right. Whoa! Finally, face reveal! That's so cool. Pretty, isn't she? Yes, she is. Anyway, after Yogiri found me, we traveled to Vesper Bay and met up with Yuri Anje. When we told him that he had. What had happened, he used his magics to weave a glamour around the waking sands. From the outside, our old headquarters now looks like an abandoned storehouse. Oh. Wait, so Revenant's Toll is now gone too? Yes, it was the first Aura reveal in FFX IV. Yes! I assumed so. That's why, like, she was covered up before that. The transformation didn't take long either. Apparently, Yurianje started making preparations after the Imperial attack, just in case the Emperor ever chose to pay us another visit. Uh, good thinking, eh? Sorry, where was I? Oh yes, we. so we waited there at the Waking Sands, hoping others would come, but no one else did. Ordana's still there. Oh, okay. My people are searching for the other Scions, even as we speak. But we have met with no success as yet. I had hoped that you might be able to suggest further places to look. Ah, uh, but you should know the Rising Stones did not share the Waking Sands' good fortune. Only Crystal Braves await you there. Oh, okay, so it's not, like, destroyed, but, um... Ah! The... The traitors are there. Be that as it may, we have yet to cause to hope... Do we not? If you, if the two of you escaped, it is not impossible that the others could have done so as well. 
You may have been forsaken by men and women believe true, but rest assured that the people of Doma yet stand with you. We welcomed this opportunity to repay our debts uh, and shall continue our efforts to locate the others and see the scions restored to their rightful place of honor. Thank you. Is all my doing. I believed myself the only one who truly understood Eorzea's woes, and look what that arrogance has wrought. I gave commands, influenced governments with my certainty. I treated the Crystal Braves and even the Scions themselves as pawns in my great scheme to save the realm. But in my headlong rush into imagined glory, I paid no heed to the ground upon which I trod. The salvation of Eorzea. Oh, Alphano, no, I know. I Hi, Valor. Did I believe that I could rid the realm of every danger and difficulty? That I could defeat the Empire and the Asians? and find homes for every refugee? Oh, you had high hopes, buddy. I was so very clever. Become a guardian of Eorzea, I implored, and sat back to watch my perfect army cleanse the land of chaos. It was all but a means to feed my own vanity. Only when all is lost do I finally realize the truth. He needs a sister hug. Oh, he's got drinks. Oh, oh, they're hot. So, Master Alfino, are you content to remain a broken blade? Is there no flame hot enough to reforge you? He is husbando. It's around this time that I really started to like Alfano, as bad as that sounds. I like him too. I liked him before this. He did get very political, but stand at your side. I dare say the fires of their determination will soon have you slicing the air again with your customary wit. I hardly deserve such friendship. And besides, where are we to go? He's so broken. Ah. Uh. No, if I may. Should this place not serve our purpose, then, then we shall go to Ishgard. Oh wait, she has. She's talking. She has a voice actor. Is this the first time that she's had a voice actor? She's cute. Minfilia told me many times, as long as we stand fast against despair. The beacon of hope will never be lost to sight. That's right. My waifu speaks. Yes, I love Tataru. I just love that little part where she was juggling knives and wine together. I don't know why. <laughs> it wasn't a cutscene or anything. It was just like when the NPCs are in uh, the plays thing. <sighs> oh, it's it in good. The snow or in the clouds? We few will see that the dawn's light shines again. Don't cry. You are right, Totoro. Thank you. And thank you for your kind words, Lord Oshfon. Osh... Oshfon? Oshfon? Is that how you pronounce his name? Uh, however, her voice changes a bit in Heaven Sword onward. A lot of characters' voices do. Oh. All the voice actors will change after this quest. They moved voice acting office in North America at this point and rearranged voice acting overall. Oh, Wait, but I like everyone's voice so far. <laughs> well, like, the main characters don't change, do they? Like Alphano and Minfilia? 
Tis true that Eorzea yet has her guardians. That's Scions it. have achieved much, and would be remiss of me to discard it all in a fit of self-pity. <laughs> no more lines that says such destruction. This is not my intention. <laughs> Love it so much. They get better. Voices were fine. The acting was bad. Yeah. Yeah, they get better in my opinion. They will speak later. <laughs> we will speak later, Asian. <laughs> They stay similar enough, but the acting gets better. Okay. Let us then resume our journey together, one step at a time. Yes. Slowly but surely. That's answers. I love this song. Oh! Credits! Oh! No! Don't do this! No! I don't like this! <laughs> oh man! You won! Apparently I won! Do you not have a sub button? Not- I don't- I'm not affiliated yet, I don't think! Because I needed 50 followers and to stream seven different days. But I think this is my last... But now I have 50 and I think Sunday was my last day. Valor, thanks for the follow! Now we have 53, 53. <laughs> uh... Time to move on to Final Fantasy XV. <laughs> I have already played that. Congrats! Yes, we're there now. I'm getting a Founders badge. Congrats! Oh, does that mean that I did it? What does that mean? What does Founder Founders badge mean? <laughs> you can skip credits if you want. Oh. Skip. But I don't know, I like this song. And it makes me sad to look at memories. I gotta get those feels. Same. That means like when you get a sub button, I'm subbing so I can get a cool first badge. Founders badges means you're gonna be one of your first subs. Me too. Oh! There's more after the credits. Okay. Walk free. Walk free. Walk free. Feed me. Dance alive. So weary. My sub is waiting! Yay! Have you done Hildebrand yet? I've started and I just got the dance emote, which is amazing. I love it, but I'm still working on the story quest. It's so good. Thanks, friend. I was actually interested in subbing to this friend when I showed you. Oh, <laughs> yay! I'm glad that you came back. <laughs> Wait, I'm really. I want to know if I'm affiliated, though. It must be if you're getting the badge thing. I'm gonna check my email. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? Nope, not yet. Nothing up. Oh, you have to apply once you hit the requirements. Oh, okay. I will have to do that.
Sorry, I keep clicking out of the game so the music stops. It's more like an initializing of the process. Okay. Alright, I'll probably skip the credits because I've heard this song. But I like it. There's really like nothing in the credits. Like, will I be skipping the cutscene after the credits? No, it's safe to skip the credits. Nearly skip to this this scene. Okay. Why did he seem upset by that? Lollafell are scary. Yeah, they are. Rub on! Oh, I'm glad they, uh, bandaged his arm so well. Abrelis is no more. Yeah, we destroyed him with Moon Brita. La Habrea, yeah, it is him. The Ardor was not his to invoke. His demise was of his own making. Boo! <laughs> yeah. Nevertheless, it concerns me. They have extinguished that which should rightly be eternal. Yeah, we figured it out. We knew how to destroy the immortal. Mayhap, he uh, was not wholly mistaken. Greater haste may be warranted. We are of one mind. The northern lands, then? Noah and Mel, I need your voice acting. I can't do all these characters by myself. <laughs> the earth is fertile, and the seeds well sown. By my will, they shall reap salvation. Unlike any the world has known. By his will. Why is one white and one black, though, if they're on the same team? By his will. I'll be right there. Yeah. <laughs> Your narrations are amazing. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Tier list, yeah. I forgot if it's explained that yet. Not yet. Okay. Uh, wait, Urianje. I have answered thy summons. Emissary, speak and make thine intent. No, 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 is Urianje bad? No. I would speak of fate, Archon. Yours, mine, and the fate of this very star. I'm so... I'm so mad! All these good characters are going bad! I don't like it. 
<laughs> don't, I don't know. Ryan said you met him in often at some event. That's awesome. He's a friend of mine from college. Yes! Yeah, we've met several times and we went out to dinner in Salem and it was awesome. I consider them my friends. <laughs> They're amazing people. <gasps> it's my deep voice, little dragon friend. I love him so much. They're my friends too, so now we are friends by relation. Yes! Hi, friend. You are all my friends. Deep You've all been part of this journey. Despair. Death. Thou shalt find naught. I never understood the dab. What does that even mean? I don't even know. I'm too old for that. To preserve the dawn's light, the heroes journeyed north. Their hearts filled with hope and eyes fixed heavensward. Dun dun dun! My left arm. <laughs> That's the name of the thing! I know! The thing that we're trying to, so hard to get to! That we we did get to! Dun 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 We did it! I think? Is that the last quest? Uh, are you older than me? I am 30. I didn't renew my CVC sub. Oh no. Congrats! Now go watch Dragon Song trailer. Aye, 30 buddies, yeah. No dubbing for me. <laughs> check oh check Alice chat Brit 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 oh <laughs> Brit hello I see you in chat <laughs> I haven't been reading any of this chat what's up Invite Noah. Oh, I'm inviting Noah. Ah, uh, next uh, ninety, ninety, baby. I'm in the middle of Alliance. Oh, are we leveling now? Wait, did I do it? Am I at Heaven Sword? I'm checking my quest list. Yeah, the next one is coming to Ishgard. Is that what he gives me? It is! I did it! I'm at, I'm at Heaven Sword! It is time! I want to be like Mufasa. You are officially 3.0. Yes! I'm 95, but my body says I was born in 1975. <laughs> it's time! Finally! Heaven Sword! But for real, you should watch the Heaven Swords trailer now. Yes. <sighs> All right. All right. I feel like I've watched it recently with my husband because I was showing him to try to get him into the game. <laughs> but I will watch it again. 
Yes, if you can link it. I don't think- I haven't set up any bots or anything, so links are allowed still. Peggy 16. Peggy 16. Wait, is it recording my game or the screen? Oh, the screen. Okay. Wait, wait. You told you it was spoilers at the time. Yeah, you did. I'll watch you play it, but it's not my type of game. I know. I know, John. Now you know the story! Uh, wondering if I would actually play this game if I got it, because the weapons and mounts look so amazing. Though, yeah, like the graphics and the weapons and the features are really cool, but it can be overwhelming at times because there's just so much content, so much to do. Um, but if you just stick with one thing at a time, it's okay. I'm enjoying it. The story makes you do feels. Yes, I am starting to see that. And I can only imagine how many more feels will come. All right, I'm starting. Okay, let's do this. Now that I've finished. Is it high quality? Yes. I get it. We're on the run to Ishgard. Ha. No, you punch that wall. I want to too. Definitely makes me want to level Dragoon. <laughs> I was Dragoon in 11, Final Fantasy 11, so. warms my heart. I have to say, the cutscenes that they do. Are really cool. I wish they did more. <laughs> like throughout the game. I think I forgot how epic this trailer was. Yeah, it's really cool. 
Dragoon the ultimate floor tank and the trainer for Dragoon plays a pretty hefty role in Heaven's Sword. I can imagine. Like this part's really cool, it makes me want to play Dragoon for the armor. Okay, one sec. My husband is trying to talk to me. I'm back. What did I miss? Uh, da, 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 da. Monster Hunter. You've never played a Final Fantasy game before? <gasps> Oh. I don't- I'm gonna have to plug it in. Yep. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I can't. Hold on. 
<laughs> I'm gonna turn this off. Or no. Yeah. <laughs> Technical difficulties. How did I have this before? Sorry, everyone, for giving you a uh, motion sickness. <laughs> Mistakes were made. <laughs> They're doing F again. Rest in peace. Is that like rest in peace? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. All right. Have a good night. I love you. Love you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hi, Cassie. Thank you. I got to 50. Oh my gosh. Free tour behind the desk. Yes, that was all my cords. Sorry about that. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> well, might as well meet the husband. Hello, sir. Yes, that was my husband, John. He was Steelfire X in chat earlier. Oh, what's this? You clipped something. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh no! Here we go. <laughs> I can't even, oh my gosh. Uh, did you do the Fall of the Eleven crossover quest yet? No, not yet. I want to do that with um, my sister and friend Noah and Mark. So I think we're going to do that sometime. Hi, friend. It's J-O-N, so no H. Important info. It is. It really is. <laughs> Yeah, Flynn, I think you, you were the 50th follower. Come outside, I got a present. Okay. <laughs> See, I don't ignore you. I'm sorry. It's hard. This is hard keeping up with all that's going on. Flinny or Cam is fine. Okay. <laughs> Yay! I want some of the sparkles. What's that? A rabbit? Is that a minion? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, what? What's it look like? How do I- what am I doing? A dwarf rabbit. Oh my gosh! It is so good! Look at it! Look at it! Look at its little legs! I love it so much! <laughs> Thank you! Oh my gosh. Can I pet it? No! All my buttons are in the way. No, it's so cute. Yeah, I'll probably call you Flinny, just so I can just use your name. <laughs> John and John stick need to stick together, that's right. Is that Volpix? <laughs> uh, no. Wait. Oh, there. That's Carbuncle. The red one. It's a summon. And a sheep. 
Take my money, I want one. I know. <laughs> it's so cute. Uh, thank you, Tara. Tara is Kaya in chat, if you guys didn't know. She is my real life sister. Twin sister. Looks like ball picks to me, but if I can see it, that means it's true. <laughs> Okay, we will call it Vulpix. I couldn't get you an elephant, sorry. Oh, that's okay. The bunny is really cute. I love it. Thank you so much. I do still love the panda too that you got me. Oh, it's so cute. All right, are we going to do this leveling roulette? Yes, it's in fun facts. Yes, my little blurb stuff down there. Along with chips belonging and sandwiches. Yes, chips are just, they're meant to go with sandwiches. Inside sandwiches. I thought the ram thing looked KK Slider's disembodied head. I don't know what that is, but it's cute. Yeah, Noah's back. Is Cody available to join us? So we'll have a light party. From Animal Crossing. Oh, yeah, I haven't played Animal Crossing. Everyone keeps trying to get me to play it though, because they're like, it's so cute, and it's probably a game that you'll like. I probably will, but I need to steal, would need to steal my husband's, um, switch. I'm gonna be a gooboo. And I'll sneeze on you. Uh, this is best mount. Did you paint your profile pic? I did. Yes, all the artwork on my channel um is 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 mine. Um this is my website. I'll show you. So yeah, so I planned my Twitch channel. I hope to do painting and gaming. Um, just so it's not all like work and stuff. I want to have fun and play. So keep it interesting. I'll be live tomorrow, uh, 6 to 10. Yes, if anybody uh, wants to follow Elfin Dark Jewel, she just got affiliated and streams games. Chew. Cody is still fighting a boss. Okay, what is he doing? What is he fighting? Uh, you'll have to wait until I finish three houses to steal the switch. Yeah, it'll be a while. That's okay. I still got all these expansions to do. I love art streams, yay! I love art streams too. Let me host you again too. Oh, <laughs> yay! Oh my gosh, Brett, you are a stunning artist. Thank you so much! She is the best. She is my friend's partner and it's so nice. So nice. 
Ryan and Cassie are amazing. I can't wait till we can all hang out again. Oh sweet, it's auto excuse me, auto hosting. Oh cool. Three houses is good. Yeah, my husband really likes it. I haven't played it. Where do you take commission inquiries? If you go to um my commission page it gives you all the information, but if you go to contact on my website, it has like a little form that you can fill out. Or on the commission page, I believe it lists my Gmail. And you can email me that way too. We should go out for ramen again in the future. Yes! I know, when everything calms down, I'd love to meet again and get some nice ramen and... That was so fun. Oh my god, your art is amazing. Can't wait for an artsy stream. Thank you! I do have some previous art streams um, uh, from before if you want to check that out too. But yeah, I'm excited. I'll probably be streaming this week. I'm not, I don't have a schedule yet because I don't know what exactly I'm doing. <laughs> But, uh, I should be streaming this coming week with some art. Yes, Roman! Love the aesthetic of it. Thank you so much! I'm missing 30 Moogle Tomes. Oh, a 24 man raid. Okay. How do I check how many Moogle Tomb things I have? Inventory, right? Uh, I have 24. How much is it for those, um... Bomb... that bomb mount? Uh, how long does one of these usually take? My art pieces? Uh, it can vary depending on, like... Uh, if it's just a bust, if it's a full-length body piece... But generally from like 4 to 20 hours, <laughs> it's a huge range. <laughs> They're so detailed. Thank you. 30. Yep. 30 hours. <laughs> Bonus streams are a thing occasionally for Patreons too. Yes! Totally worth especially combined with all the other available content. I do have a Patreon too. Thank you, Ryan, for reminding me. <laughs> I call all my patrons the Panda Army because I'm obsessed with pandas, and I draw you as a panda if you sign up, um, and you get exclusive content and behind the scenes of being a full-time artist. So We do um, private live streams, and uh, I release my P Photoshop files, and... Work in progress is, so you know what I'm up to every day. Uh, I have so much art. <laughs> Britt's working on my commission. I know! <laughs> you have so much of my artwork, Cassie. I'm so thankful. Thank you so much. And, um, yeah, I did start on your commission, and I'm so excited to continue to work on that, but it's, um, I can't show anyone, so we'll have to wait and see what that is. I just contacted you via your website. Oh, cool! I'll be checking that out. Thank you so much. Uh, 
Will that to make your Twitch subscribers the Panda Navy? Ooh, maybe. I'll just do a little show off of my next stream for a shout out. <laughs> I had two commissions and they're both awesome. Yes, thank you so much, Ryan, for commissioning me. The chibis were so fun. Invite Cody. Your style is 100% perfect for the vision of what I messaged you about. Oh, yay! I'm excited to read it. Whoops. I don't know what I'm doing. Hi, Cody. All right, so are we going to do a leveling roulette before bed? I'm party leader, so I guess I have to do this. <laughs> Do I do uh, leveling or the level 50, 60, 70 dungeon? Leveling. Okay. Gonna do some fighting before bed. I can't believe I've been streaming for five hours. That's crazy. It definitely is easier to stream games than art, I am finding. Which one's this one? I don't know if I've done this one. I must have. Is this the one with the switch? Inconspicuous switch? I like don't have any of my abilities. <laughs> it's the first ever dungeon. Oh, okay, that's probably why I don't remember. Thank you guys enough for being here. This has been so fun. Cody here is another bard shooting arrows together. a crab from 11. I 
I keep trying to do my rotation and I'm like, why aren't I shooting arrows? Oh yeah, I don't have those yet. I got the so many things are happening. Are you guys on Discord? Oh, no. It's the inconspicuous switch! <laughs> Somebody can link that in the, uh, the Twitch chat. When I first started playing this game, years ago, when it first came out, and I did this, I couldn't pronounce inconspicuous. It's pretty funny. There it is. <laughs> if anyone wants to know what I sounded like, what was it, like seven, eight years ago? When did this game come out?
My eyes are getting very dry. <laughs> The dogs are coming! Whoa, what am I doing? Just trying to emote to a Noah for some reason. <laughs> What am I supposed to be doing? Oh. I don't remember this dungeon at all.
Oh, congrats on level up. All right, I think I'm going to end stream here. Thank you so much to everyone who came and hung out and subbed. I mean, followed and would like to sub. My husband just told me what that meant and I am just like, I can't even comprehend that, so. Um, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And, uh, this was amazing. It was so much fun. I can't, I just, um, I'm having trouble comprehending what happened tonight, so, um, yeah! I'm so excited for this new adventure. Bye, it was fun, good night, congrats on 52 followers, woo! -hoo. Thank you! Let me back off your website. <laughs> Yes, I will um, look at my email tomorrow and uh, and get back to you. So, yeah, I just love your emotes, Tara, Kaya. I want them. Congrats! I'll be tuning in tomorrow. I love the atmosphere of the stream. Thank you so much. That means a lot. Thank you. I somehow completed a fate <laughs> without even joining it. <laughs> uh, thank you, Ryan. Thank you so much for telling people, your friends. I can't thank you enough. You and Cassie, you just mean the world to me. So, everyone, thank you. And I will see you very soon. Um, my next stream will probably be an art stream, so look forward to it. I may or may not have bought this game. Oh, cool! If you do, we're on uh, Sar Sargatanas. Um, so if you can get into that server, that's where we are. Good night, everyone! Be safe, take care, I will see you very soon. <laughs>